Naitwa Paul Magoa mtoto wa Silia Magoa la kwanza wa kiume professional business coach entrepreneur lakini pia mkufunzi wa biashara wa Jasiria Mali pia upande wa mambo ya uongozi uh, some of you already know kwamba nimekuwa pro kwenye speaking industry kwa zaidi ya miaka kumi na kitu sasa hivi ambapo nimeweza kufanikiwa kuweza kufundisha ama kampuni makubwa ya migodi na nini kama unaona wajusi kwa niko kwenye tour ya kuzugeita nimeenda buli ya nini buli ya ngulu kule kama lakini lengo na mazungumzo kwa kufundisha mambo ya leadership pia na mambo ya productivity jinsi ya kuweza kuzaliana especially with the customer uh, customer service lakini pia kwenye maeneo mbalimbali kwa niona nakwenda kufundisha kwenye mabanki na sehemu mbalimbali leo nataka tukaongee kitu kimoja tu unaona kama kwamba uh, laisi kwenye mwanzo wa mwaka sasa hivi tuko huu mwezi hapo unaona kama nimekwenda kama miezi minne sasa hizi leo mwezi wa 4 kwenye mwanzo wa mwaka marais viongozi wengi wao wanapenda kufanya mabadiliko kwenye industry yote kwa maana industry ya biashara industry ya uchumi industry ya siasa industry ya ya taasisi mbalimbali industry ya afya industry ya nini yani kila mahali mwanzo wa mwaka ndio mabadiliko makubwa huwa yanatokea na mara nyingi sana kama wewe ni kiongozi leo unafanya kazi serikali au kwenye taasisi fulani na haujafanywa mabadiliko kuanzia mwezi wa kwanza mpaka mwezi wa tano wa mwaka tangu umeingia kwenye ule uongozi maana yake huo mwaka umeulamba mwaka huo umeula mimi kwa sababu gani kwa sababu mabadiliko mengi ni kwamba baada ya kufanya ile mwaka labda sema mwaka wa hesabu unapofanyika disemba mpaka mpaka disemba mpaka uh, iwe ni disemba mpaka februari ile wa ni miaka ya mahesabu what we did the last year kwa hiyo baada ya kuweza kugundika hiyo what we did the last year where we did the best where we did, where we did the wrong inafanyika mchujo of baada ya kuja kugundua kwamba okay ni nani alikuwa amesimama kwenye idara fulani wakati tunafanya vizuri nani alisimama kwenye idara fulani wakati tunafanya vibaya so then hapo ndio inapotokea hiyo bu 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 wanatesema unatokea mkeka umeona juzi kati hapa rais wa Tanzania dr mama Samia Suluh Hassan amefanya mabadiliko makubwa sana pengine mpaka kuna watu wengine wanao it was very intimidating kwa sababu to see the people that we expect they should be appreciated going to be higher and higher and higher like kids they become depreciated na watu wengi wanashangaa it's going to become a tragedy sasa na nimekuletea solution moja tu ambayo nakwenda kufundisha kuhusu sifa halisia za uongozi kwa maana ya kwamba unapoweza ukiweza kuwa kiongozi bora ukiweza kuwa kiongozi bora maana yake ni nini utakapokuwa kiongozi bora maana yake utafiti kwenye mambo ya entrepreneurship utafiti kwenye mambo ya productivity utafiti kwenye mambo ya uongozi ya usimamizi utafiti kwenye mambo yote ya ukuaji wa kampuni wa taasisi wa chama na serikali kwa ujumla sasa changamoto kubwa ni kwamba uh, wengi nimekuita kwenye kazi uh, kwa sababu mimi na wewe we went to the same school au labda tukao ni watani sana tutani na mashule na nani kwa sababu I, I know you Avin I, I know you as a ton of labda poor magola and he was a great entrepreneur great trainer labda whatever he was a public figure ni whatever au labda magola eh hey, I, i know you ah, kwa sababu ilikuwa moja mbili tatu moja mbili by say uh, nimetolea mfano wa Avin Avin ni poor magola is here come on come on come on come on, come, on, come on. this guy anaitwa Alvin poor magola he is Avin mimi by the way Uh, labda next time anaweza akaja kuwa mkufunzi lakini he is uh, yeye anapenda mambo ya michezo michezo mipira na nini na nini na vitu kama hivyo na kuogelea he is a good streamer by the way say hi Alvin so yeah sometime unaweza kama mtu ulimpa priority kwenye nafasi ya kazi yake ni kwa sababu tu yule mtu alikuwa namjua we have a background relationship friendship have a background maybe connect is that you have to somewhere been together sasa so, so you still remember the guy no man unataka uende na yule mtu lakini utakapo kwa kwenye position this is business business is business remember ni kwa mtaa mambo ya uchuli kwa muda mrefu akapo kwamba tunaweza tukafanya urafiki wote mimi na wewe lakini tutakapokuja kwenye biashara business is business nilikuleta kama rafiki yangu usaidie hapa lakini hujafanya kuweza vizuri kuweza kusaidia hapa so rafiki wa mimi na wewe kwa huku umekufa labda kama tutarudi kwenye ile eneo jingine ambayo tutafanya tuwe marafiki ndio mimi na wewe tunaweza tukarudi tena kuwa marafiki sasa leo nataka nikakuonyeshe kwenye sifa za uongozi inaweza vitu kuweza kufanya vizuri kwenye uongozi na utakapokuwa kiongozi kwenye eneo fulani uwe ni mtu mfano bora wa kuigwa na hata siku nyingine aa, 
uendelee kupanda juu na juu na juu na usiwemo kwenye mkeka wa unao chanwa yani mkeka Tanzania Tanzania, Tanzania wanasema kuna mkeka uliochanwa na kuna mkeka ulioungalika uliotisha yani mkeka uliotisha au uliopasua ni ule mkeka ni kwamba umeitwa jina lako limekuwa appreciated meaning umepelekwa kwenye hayo position au mkeka uliochanwa umeitwa kwenye 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 safu ya wateule lakini jina lako limekuwa depreciated banaku umeshushwa huo ni mkeka ulio chano sifa za kiongozi bora na sio bora kiongozi na unajua nimekuwa mzuri sana kwa kufundisha makampuni kwenye mambo ya biashara kwenye mambo ya mashirika mbalimbali kuweza kusaidia kuweza kustabilize na kama kawaida unavyojua kama mimi ndio moja kati ya train ambao nimefundisha viongozi wakubwa sana wa serikali nchi mbalimbali kwa East Africa lakini pia nimeonekana kwenye meza kukaa kwenye mazungumzo na watu wakubwa zaidi wa viongozi wa kisiasa nchini na nchi mbalimbali lakini leo nataka nikufundishe siri ya sifa za kiongozi you want to dominate with that position that you belong today how you can dominate so listen to me this is Paul Magola and I'm Cecilia Magola the first born baby boy guy listen to me a sifa za kiongozi sifa namba moja kwanza let's go one to one or one on one tutakwenda kutafasiri kwanza neno ki o go zi ki o go zi neno kiongozi what is neno kiongozi The entire spelling la neno kiongozi linaelezea hasa hasa kwamba maana yake ni nini. Neno ki uh, ki o ngo zi. Ki o ngo zi. Hizi herufi peke yake zinasema tunaweza kuchambua kuhusu herufi moja moja. Halafu When I'm talking here you can be evaluating yourself with the position that you are uh, you be doing some self self evaluation kwenye eneo ulilopo na jinsi unavyofanya alafu kwenye sifa za kiongozi unaweza kuona kama if there is somewhere you are doing well then you give yourself good round of applause give yourself self proud lakini if there is somewhere that you are doing wrong or you are doing below average then you can learn some knowledge techniques to to stretchify yourself to do well in that position ki maana yake kubali ushauri au kushauriwa yani neno ki at any position unapokuwa kiongozi kwenye eneo lolote kwenye nafasi yoyote kumbuka ku, kubali kushauriwa kubali ushauri wa mtu yoyote kati ya wale watu tunaoongoza au nao watawala lakini pia kubali kushauriwa Listen to different voices about the people that the community that you are leading. Don't want to be too paranoid. Don't want to be too selfish. So you have to listen to the people that you are leading. Ah, uh, hii ni help number moja. Kubali kushauri kama wewe kiongozi au unakubali kushauri, je, unapokea ushauri? Je, unakubali kushauriwa? Namba mbili, I e ielewe tabia ya watu unaoaongoza. Man, listen You know me. Uh, na mwili mkubwa ndefu uh, na na mifupa mikubwa. You know my bones, yes, the big bones evo. Na my community nakotoka ni Legzon. Unajua kwa sababu Legzon ni watu fulani wa sukuma of course sometimes there are too much dictatorship. Wana mfumo dume, hawa watu wamelewa mfumo dume, hawajui mama ring, you know this kind of mama ring, they are fathering. The fathering is too much dictatorship in leadership and the mama ring they are too much in Mamaring they are too much uh of, of course they are, they are too much linguistic when it's come to dictatorship and negotiation let's come together ah you know yani mamaring wanabembeleza wanajaribu kushawishi ufate taratibu fathering hey yenyu watu watatu wote nendeni pale so me skuma from the leg zone nakwenda kumwongoza mzalamo in Dar es Salaam Remember tumelelewa mazingira tofauti. Nimelelewa mazingira kama ya kibababa, kibababa manake is too serious lakini pia amelelewa mazingira kama ya mama mama it is not that too serious considering yani wakati anakushirikisha anakwambia ukafanye kitu fulani lakini ana consider situation yako. Sisi wazee kule kanda ya ziwa hawa consider situation yako. Yani anaweza akasema wewe na wewe ndeni pale muhamuulizi kama mpo tayari kwenda na changamoto ya kutokwenda pale 
au nani nani yani ni matamko ba 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 huko anaitwa MC flani yeye ito mimi muita na flani hivi samani nilitaka niwatume sem flani wanangu mnaonaje would you guys go it's like bothering guys ya uh, mimi nimeitwa kwenda kuongoza mdalamu at the beginning he will be shocked kila atakaposema sema ha wale watu wa pale wote toa hapo peleka hapa alafu wale watu hivi na jeraha sisi tutaka kupeleka hivi alafu msema ni tabia hivi kwa the beginning they will be all shocked eh eh eh, eh, eh tumekuja kupigwa tumekuja kama hapa tumekuja kwa nini tumekuja kwa so it will take some time to these guys to experience my leadership career itachukua muda fulani kwa watu kuja kunielewa kwa sababu gani uh, mimi sikutumia itakiwa hapa mimi ndio nielewe tabia ya watu ninaowaongoza given the fact kwamba mimi nimelewa kwenye mfumo wa dictatorship lakini this guy they have the democracy i have to lead, to learn how to lead them in the democracy way So sawa so lazima uielewe tabia ya watu naongoza tabia namba mbili onyesha mfano kwa vitendo ladies and gentlemen moja kati ya kiini cha uongozi kiini cha uongozi you want to be a leader you want to go at the top and the top and the top and the top lazima uwe na sifa moja yenye mazao mawili namba moja you need to be a father outside and the mother inside who is a leader ikikuuliza kwamba who is a leader sema po magola he said once kwamba a leader is the father outside and the mother inside kiongozi ni nani kiongozi ni mtu yote mwenye sifa za baba nje na mama dan baba nje he go to fight for the family ya ku ku tu tu ana kugombania chakula kule anaenda kukaba watu kukaba za zingine yeye nina nini eh chomolea watu uibia sina nini oh ni oh anaiba atazuruma atapambana atabebeleza atafanya nini atafanya nini maana yake he is doing fathering kule nje atakapokuwa ameshapata kila kinacholeta he came at home anakuja nyumbani anakuja kufanya mama ndani mother inside mother inside okay uh, sasa baby we have this and this so you can go you this uh, mama eh, mke wangu baby uh, tuna kitu moja mbili tatu tunaenda kutumia hivi okay mke wangu kuna kitu moja mbili tatu tunaenda kutumia hivi okay nyi hao watoto wape hivi na hivi okay uh, labda kuna ile hivi hivi na hivi okay sasa sasa okay, so. yani hapo sasa kuwa kiongozi ni lazima uwe baba na sifa za ubaba nje na kuwa mama ndani baba nje kuhakikisha unawatafutia wale watu wako unawaletea na utakapowaletea unakuja kuwakumbatia kumbuka sifa ya mama sana sana ni kukumbatia eh nani anaumwa eh nani kaamkaje au huwezi kukuta baba anauza nani kaamkaje otherwise they must be single parents baba ulize watoto wameamkaje for way that's not the behavior from even man is in tabia mama ndo ataka ataamka na lakini sasa ili uwe kiongozi lazima ujifunze pia kuwa mama ndani uwe baba nje lakini pia uwe mama ndani uende uji, uji, u, uonyesha mfano kwa vitendo kama kuna task ama kuna kazi ya kwenda kuchimba mtalo wa sehemu fulani watangazie watu kwamba watachimba mtalo wa sehemu fulani and you at the leader nenda pale kachimbe mtalo na wale watu you will be father outside and the mother inside meaning wale watu watapata ile hisia feeling ya kuona kwamba okay magola ni kiongozi wetu mzuri magola watu tunafanya naye kazi magola yuko too social magola is too intellectual magola is do whatever whatever kiongozi mheshimiwa fulani tuko naye kwenye moja bitu mheshimiwa fulani ana moyo wa kujali watu mheshimiwa fulani onyesha mfano kwa vitendo so hii ni sifa namba ngapi namba tatu ya kiongozi o oh, manake onyesha mfano kwa vitendo namba na, namba ngapi tuseme namba nne n nena kauli thabiti kuna wakati mwingine unaweza kukuta uh, kuna changamoto kuna mwingiliano au mtoto mtu mmoja mbili tatu hawaelewani lakini wewe kama kiongozi si lazima ufike na kuanza kutoa <laughs> hapana unaweza kuletewa taarifa zote maybe they may be rumors or propaganda you don't have to react anything on those rumors kwa sababu rumors ni vitu ambavyo vinaweza vika vika ni, ni maneno tu ya mvumo au ni sifa za mvumo ambazo mwisho wa siku hazina lolote lakini au siwezi kwa ni propaganda tu ah huyu mama fulani yeye ni mama fulani alifanya hivi eh baba fulani akafanya hivi ah kwenye kiwanja fulani waliifanya 
Mm. Kwa hiyo lazima uweze kwanza kuchujia vitu ili kauli yako inapotoka iwe ni kauli nini? Toa kauli thabiti. Na unaweza kusikia labda pengine maybe uko bungeni uh, wanaongelea wananchi labda kama mkoa wa Arusha inabidi barabara fulani barabara fulani zifungwe kwa sababu hizi barabara wapite watalii pekee kwa sababu wanaingiza pesa sana nchini alafu wananchi wengine watengenezee hii barabara huko remember watu wamekuwa wakipitia hii barabara sasa tamko limetoka wewe huko kule ndani na lazima hapa ujifunze kusimama juu ya wale watu be a father outside tetea hao watu alafu pili utakapokuja kuongea nao uwe na neno uwe na kauli thabiti ambayo inaweza kuwarizisha wale watu so they can still feel go on feeling you uh, g <laughs> g this is more fascinating g g gawa <laughs> gawa madaraka kwa watu unaowatawala hapa this is the most fascinating area about leadership yani hili eneo sasa ndo watu wao wanabolonga kwa kadiri ambapo mimi nimeenda kwenye makampuni mengi mbalimbali by the way <laughs> ukitaka kuona kuna viongozi wanapika kipia akwambia yani hii nafasi ni ngumu sana hivi usione hivi nafasi huu kiongozi anakuja kulala ile jioni yuko too much exhausted ever yani ni amechoka wakati ni, ni kiongozi wa juu kama ni manager kama ni supervisor kama si ni kiongozi nani kama ni, ni nani labda ni director kama labda pengine labda ni founder ama ni nani unakuta kwenye hii position yuko anaemesi hapa siku zote kiongozi yote anaemesi hapa anayefail kufanya vizuri hapa huyo huyu huyu ana changamoto kubwa kuliko nafasi aliyonayo kwa sababu gani hapa ukipo usipofanya vizuri hapa utakuwa wewe sio mtu mwenye kazi kubwa hata kama ni kwenye biashara wewe huna biashara kubwa isipokuwa una kazi kubwa hata kama ni kwenye nini kwenye, kwenye hata kama ni kwenye uongozi wewe sio kiongozi mkubwa isipokuwa una majukumu makubwa listen ngawa madaraka kwa watu unao watawala au unao waongoza Remember na let's say mimi labda ni uh, ni CEO kule juu lakini at the higher position let's say top position CEO ama labda CCO OCT ama OCO whatever let's say whatever position niko kule juu kikawaida wao kuna ngazi uh, let's say mark wao kuna ngazi ambayo ngazi namba moja tena mark a pen uh, ambayo kikawaida huwa kuna ngazi we pita tu kule bana unaye kwenye pocket yangu usinge simamisha mwanga ungeendelea tu uh, kikawaida kwenye uongozi wa wote huwa kuna ngazi na kila ngazi kuna viongozi kadri unavyozidi kwenda juu viongozi wanazidi kwenda chini viongozi wanaendelea ku, kuongezeka kadri unavyozidi kuja juu kwenye uongozi viongozi wanazidi ku, ku, kupungua 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 kuja juu asante sana Uh, this is uh, of course my daughter and I pia nyumo kwenye red eyes and ni, 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 ni mgonjwa wa macho sasa so, so, hatuwezi kumkaribisha hapa tuongeze macho let's say, let me show you something hapa this position here comes here let's say kiongozi anaweza kawa hapa huyo wa juu lakini anasimamia ana, ana huyu na mtu huyu halafu hawa wanamsimamia huyu na huyu anamsimamia huyu na huyu anamsimamia huyu na huyu anamsimamia huyu na huyu anamsimamia huyu 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 lakini finally hivyo team the big clue come down here big clue na kuja huko chini sawa sasa ah uh, hapa kuna kiongozi hapa mwanzo na huyu hapa ni kiongozi lakini ushangaa huyu huku anakuja kumfokea huku mbona nimesimama hapa mbona mfanye kazi nimewaambia hivi na hivi hapa nitafukuza kazi nitafukuza rent of course una mandate ya kuweza kumfukuza huyu huku chini lakini wewe unaonekana una matumizi mabaya sana ya hakili kutoka huku juu kote ukaja mpaka kuja kufukuza mtu huku chini kwa nini kwa sababu lazima ujifunze kitu kinaitwa kugawa madaraka kwa watu na wadawala ah, kama wewe uko hapa maana yake Simamia hawa hapa. Alafu fundisha hawa hapa, kusimamia hawa hapa. 
alafu wafundishwe hawa hapa huyu amfundi awafundishe hawa hapa kusimamia hawa hapa alafu hawa wafundishe hawa hapa kusimamia hawa huko chini the goal the goal the duplication increase the duplication increase kada kwa zidi kwenda chini so lakini sio wewe huku utoke huku kwenda huku sometimes kama ukiwa kiongozi mzuri wewe huyu mtu wa hapa humjui hata jena huna haja hata kumjua hata jena why kwa sababu ni mtu wa logistic huku kuhakikisha mambo huko chini hayafail wewe ndio kiini huku sasa huku tena ujaje ushaikuona shina yani shina mizizi ikatoka ikaenda kwenye matawi ili angalia matawi ni mangapi huku juu ushaikuona mti gani huo hakuna mtu akijinga hivyo duniani yani huwezi kuona mti ambao unageuka ni kwamba mizizi ina yenye mwenyewe toka ikachunguza matawi ni mangapi no mizizi ni mizizi ni kiini hii ni mizizi kwenye kwenye kampuni kwenye shirika kwenye biashara kwenye hii ni mizizi mizizi haiwezi kuja kwenye matawi isipokuwa matawi kuna muda yanajaribu kuangalia eh hivi viongozi wakubwa kule chini wako ndio maana matawi yanaweza kadondoka chini akajaribu kuja chini lakini bado hayawezi kuonana na mizizi kwa sababu kwa sababu mizizi iko at the secret part iko covered with the soil seeking for nutrition fertilization water watering whatever na nini na nini kuhakikisha matawi kule juu yana loop nzuri na ndio maana ndio ndio kiongo viongozi hao wakubwa hawa watu wako chini kuna muda wao ndio wanatakiwa wajue nyinyi au wafuatilie kujua nyinyi lakini wewe kuhitaji kumjua huyu mtu huko chini na ukitaka kumjua huyu mtu huko chini utaanza kupewa kesi za kitoto kitatu ambazo hazihusiki na mambo ya logistic ya ukuzaji wa kampuni na mwisho wa siku the company will fail kwa sababu umejiwekea makazi mengi mengi ambayo hayana maana so long lazima ujifunze kugawa madaraka kwa watu nao unaoongoza o manake ondoa uonevu upendeleo leta usawa unaweza ukamwona plan na fani hawaelewani maybe they have been relationship baba wao kwa kwenye mahusiano na mapenzi labda mawai kuwa kukosana kwenye kitu fulani fulani labda pengine my wife and his wife uh, maybe they collided at the certain position maybe at the certain point at the certain place whatever and whatever sasa mimi na i consider yeye anakuja na kwenda kazini au labda pengine labda yeye ana fun like fun na rafiki yangu fun sio rafiki yangu so fun na fun wamekwenda same fun wakaenda wakaka sana and me as a leader kwa sababu mimi ndio mkubwa wao naanza consider hafu naanza kuangalia kwa sababu huyu hapa ni wapi mtu wangu so this is not mine no viongozi wanachoangalia kwamba kwanza unapo solve case lazima unaangalia productivity ya wale watu unaowaongoza okay sawa amefanya kitu fulani lakini uwezo wake wa utendaji kazi vipi cool okay mwache endelee kuwepo wape onyo si na nini nini wape onyo kwa sababu what you are looking here is not this plain unachotafuta hapa sio kama wawe na nizamu you are not taking them to the heaven you are not leading them to the spiritual staff squad wataenda mbinguni hawa we unawaendesha hawa ili uzalishaji uweze kuwa mkubwa alafu kampuni iendelee kuweza kuzalisha tena na tena mwisho wa siku kampuni ifanye vizuri Hakuna mtu atakaye hoji kwamba mbona ilifanya vizuri lakini hao walikuwa ni wajinga wajinga walikuwa wana makosa. Nobody will ask lakini pia uh, kwa hiyo lazima uondoe uonevu na upendeleo leta usawa alafu watu waweze kuchapa kazi zaidi. Zuia migogoro kwa watu unaowatawala. Ukiona kuna mgogoro tayari kati ya watu unaoongoza au unaowatawala wewe ukiwa kama kiongozi let me show you the logic how to do well in this area especially ambaye tayari hata ni kiongozi kwenye chama na wewe ambaye ni kiongozi kwenye kampuni wewe ambaye ni kiongozi wewe kwenye taasisi na wewe ambaye sasa hivi tayari serikali imekuamini na uko kwenye position fulani ambayo you think you fit that position and i want you to dominate that position listen ukiona kuna mgogoro kwenye kati ya watu na waongoza lazima tumie hakili moja ambayo is too psychological one fatilia ni mgogoro wa nini mbili muite mtu mmoja mmoja kati ya hawa watu kama ni watu wawili wana mgogoro hawaelewani kama ni watu watatu kama ni watu wangapi waite mmoja mmoja ongea naye kila mtu mmoja mmoja and we do this in psychology Joseph eh hey, bana nimekuita hapa kulingana na mgogoro wa moja mbili tatu moja mbili tatu lakini sasa mimi nilivyousikia nilijisikia maumivu sana kwa sababu Joseph wewe ndio naye kutegemea sana hapa kwenye hii kazi yetu. Ilianzia wapi tena Joseph umeingia hapa kwenye huu mgogoro unataka kunifelisha ndugu yangu. Kwa nini kwa sababu yani ukisipo yani wewe tu ukifanya vibaya kwenye hili eneo tunafeli Joseph. Hmm? 
Achana na hawa watu, hawa ni watu wa kawaida, sijui na nini na nini na nini na nini hivyo. Joseph, wewe unafanya vizuri sana kwenye hili eneo. Na mimi nakuaminia, bro, usiniangushe. Unamwacha Joseph hata kuelezea baba la baba baba la baba 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 Joseph anaelezea kuhusu changamoto ilipoanzia. Be quiet. Listen. Later then mkubali Joseph mjaze kichwa halafu mruso aondoke. Baadaye muite yule mwingine tell them the same story. Peter writes, okay labda uh, labda Eliza, yes. Uh, listen, Eliza, mbona moja mbili tatu moja mbili tu mbona wewe na friend hamna hivi na hivi? Atakwambia Eliza, "Baba, unajua bana akafanya hivi na hivi, akafanya hivi na hivi, akafanya hivi." Wamwambia Eliza, "Msikiliza. Hii kesi ni ndogo sana wewe kuemo." Kwa sababu wewe ndio mtu mmoja kati ya wadada wenye hakili kubwa sana hapa kwenye kampuni. So Eliza wewe kuinvolve kwenye hii scandal kwenye hii mgogoro mimi sikujisikii poa najisikia vibaya. Eliza get out of this. Wewe ndio tunakutegemea kwenye uzalishaji wa hii kampuni kwenye uzalishaji kwenye uendeshaji wa hiki chama chetu. Mimi nakutaka Eliza rudi kwenye pozi nako kwenye uchafu zikaji wako achana na haya maneno wewe kakomae. Alafu mimi nitawaita kuwaonya. Anaondoka. They come the next you tell them the same story. A prouse, listen, a prouse and promise something. When you promise a letter then unaweza kawaita sasa pamoja ukawaambia guys nimeisikiliza story zenu nimeshamsikiliza kila mmoja wenu hapa. Kwa hiyo nilichokiamua hatuwezi kuendana na majungu na nimeshawasikiliza hisi kila mtu ameniambia. Si ndio eh? Kwa hiyo kuanzia sasa hivi hapa naomba hii kesi ishie hapa sitaki tuiongee tena. Kwa sababu Satuwezi kuendelea na hii hapa. Utakapowaache kila mtu kichwani anaotembea anasema ah unajua bosi ilibidi aiache tu hii kazi kiongozi kwa sababu ibidi kesi yetu kiongozi aiache kwa sababu mimi ananitegemea sana. Kwa sababu mimi ananitegemea sana. Kumbe huyu anasema anategemewa sana, huyu anasema anategemewa sana, huyu hapa anasema anategemewa sana kichwani mwake. So at the other time on the other hand una increase potential kwenye kazi yako. So ondoa migogoro kwa watu na watawala. Ai inua maisha ya watu na watawala blo kama ni kwenye kampuni i went to one of the company hilo kampuni ilikuwa halilipi vizuri mishahara ah wakati wa mimi kwenda kufika pale kufundisha ile siku ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu nikagundua kesi nyingi watu walalamika walipi mishahara niliita viongozi wa juu wote nikawaita kwa nao kikao kwamba guys kama hawa watu hawalipi mishahara meaning you guys at the top you are not fitting kwa nini kwa sababu nyinyi ndio mlazima brainstorm Mwahakikishe kampuni inaingiza pesa itakapoweza kuingiza pesa kampuni hamna kampuni yenye leo mbaya kwamba inaingiza pesa alafu mwa ina watu kwa kutumia hawa watu wake alafu ishindwe kulipa hawa watu wake we develop the same the same of course the pro, project uh, mimi na wao tulikaa mezani waliniongezea hela nyingine anyongeza tukakaa mezani nikawasaidia ku develop baadhi ya miradi kadhaa kadhaa na nina vitu vingi ninaweza kufanya let them they did well so after they have done it well uh, they become successful the company made money guess what the individual get their salary kwa hiyo moja kati ya idea ya kiongozi pia kwenye eneo fulani lazima uwe na hii logic utafuta logistics za kuinua maisha ya watu unao waongoza au unao watawala anyway uh oi ni yawezekana hujanielewa kwenye haya yote hujanielewa kwenye haya yote nataka kunielewa kwenye kitu kimoja tu kwamba you want to be a leader lazima uwe na sifa ngapi mbili sifa namba moja you have to be a father outside go to seek for your people sifa namba mbili you have to be a mother inside kukumbatia to feed your people to feed your children to feed to feed your community kuwa kualisha watu wako kwa kumbatia watu wako nani anaumwa nani anamkaje nani yuko vipi nani anajisikiaje nani kuzingatia hisia zao you be the mother inside but you be the father outside fight for your people lazima uwe tayari kwa Italia watu wako. Hii ni fumbuka magic of success. Na mimi naitwa Paul Magola ambaye ndo asilia Magola kwanza kwenye hii kama uja subscribe sasa subscribe kwenye hii channel na endelea kufuatilia. We are coming up with the next 15 move how you can do better in your area, in your business, in your company. Is it?